Hi, this is JP from Not The Lights Over Arkham. Welcome to another playthrough video of the Lord of the Rings LCG. And we are playing the core set scenarios using only cards from the core set for the player deck. Uh, this is the revised core set, so we have uh, enough cards for the deck I am using in the core set revised box. And we are playing the escape from the Uldur scenario, which is the last and third scenario in the box. Uh, right away, I have tested this scenario before uh, starting to film it. Uh, it is a pretty tough scenario, so I am not even dreaming of uh, possibly completing the scenario. It seems like this is a really tough one for a true solo player, but you will find out soon enough why that is, if you are not familiar with it. But, uh, I am using the same deck I have been using for the previous two uh, scenarios, and I won't go into detail of the deck composition, but I will add a link to the video description for the deck list, so check the deck out and see the uh, description in that uh, link to uh, ringsdb.com. But without further ado, let's get started. We are nearly ready to begin the <laughs> onslaught of this scenario. As I said, this is a really hard scenario to play through solo. First off, uh, we need to complete the setup. So, set up Search and Counter deck for the three objective cards which we have. Uh, reveal and place them in the staging area. Place the Nasku of Dol Guldur face up, uh, put butt out of play, and it's here face, uh, face down, so I'm not uh, having it in play yet. Um, and then uh, we will shuffle the encounter deck and attach one encounter each objective card and these will uh, just get added onto the guard guarded cards which are these which means that they are revealed and they are in play in the staging area we'll do that now so I have shuffled these so let's see what we get mm, I won't go into much detail what, about these before I get them so we get uh, Dolgal Guldur Orcs, which will uh, come into effect immediately. Uh, we, then we had Great uh, Great Forest Web, so we can uh, travel to that location and uh, another Dolgal Guldur Orcs. So uh, that is what we start with, and uh, first we read uh, fluff text before we continue. So, uh, the Lady Galadriel of Lorien has asked you to investigate the area of the vicinity of the Uldur. While doing so, one of your allies has ambushed by, was ambushed by or captured and is now being held in the dungeon cell. So, when revealed, randomly select one hero card among all of the heroes controlled by the, play by the players and turn it face down. That hero is now considered a prisoner cannot be used, cannot be damaged, and does not contact resources until it is rescued as instructed by a card effects later in the quest. The players as a group can play more than one ally card each round. Players cannot advance to the next stage of this quest unless they have at least one objective card. So the only way to get this objective card is to first uh, resolve the encounters on them either enemies, locations, or the treacheries they have. And on top of that, uh, we need to shuffle these and determine one hero at random that is not used at the start of the scenario. And this is why it is really tough on the true solo. We have one less hero to play cards with. And remember, my deck is compositioned with uh, three uh, spheres of influence, so one of those spheres is utterly useless before we rescue that hero. So let's see who we get. 
and it is Eowyn, so I think this will be a short game. We only have Bellabor and Theodred to play with at the start. Luckily, um, most of the spirit cards in the deck are events, so we at least can play most of our cards except the spirit events. But let's see what's our open hand. And it is Gandalf, Erebor Hammersmith, Florian's Wealth, uh, Faramir, Stand and Fight, and Protector of Florian. So only one card that is in the spirit, Spear of Influence, and we get Gandalf, which might come into use, but <laughs> I'm not liking my chances. Uh, I, I think I'm keeping this uh, because we could try to... Mm, we might hope to get uh, Steward of Gondor in play sometime soon, but we'll see. So, uh, immediately we are getting those two orcs on top of us and that uh, location. So, let's see. Uh, we start by resource phase, we draw a card, uh, another Faramir. And we gain resources, and we only gain resources on not uh, captured ones. Then, uh, there is nothing much to do, we don't have that much resources. And I think I'm saving up for the ally on, on the lore hero, so... We are basically getting these enemies, and let's see, so... Uh, when revealed the first player choose one character current well these don't uh, do anything and that ha doesn't have the when reveal effect so this we just need to kill so I'm thinking we need to ignore the great forest web or questing first and just try to defend and kill off these enemies as fast as possible to have any, any chance so we skip the planning phase, uh, we go to quest phase, we skip, skip the quest phase, still get an encounter card. It is King Spider, another enemy, so this will be a short one for sure. Uh, we have what, two, six, so eight, and I guess zero, and we just advanced this to 35. Nothing we can do about that. We go to encounter phase, uh, we don't really want to get anything, but we are way over the threshold, so every enemy... Oh yeah, we travel here. So each player must exhaust one hero to travel here, or we even travel there. Please engage. Uh, I think we are dead already, almost dead. Well, uh, we we have to. Well, we can defend, but that just doesn't get us anywhere. We we'll try to defend with both. So we take both of these, and uh, oh yeah, when reveal it's there, we have to exhaust someone. So we have to exhaust this one. So we de defend with this one, but. Uh, we defend against this one, for example. So this hits for one, and these both hit for two, so... Uh, we'll take damages of these, and also we get the shadow card, so... Left to right, first one is uh, nothing, second one is nothing, and last one is nothing. But we are nearly dead already. Three damage here. And two... Uh, one damage here. Oh no, it's exhausted, so two damage here. So, uh, that, <laughs> that was the combat phase. Nothing is hitting the enemies. Uh, we'll go to refresh phase. We're ready. We have all of these enemies in, uh, engaged with us. And we add one threat here. So, I think this is a really short game, but this is the scenario. Nothing I can do about that. Uh, that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. We gain resources. Doesn't help us that much. And we gain a card. Uh, 
yeah, choose and ready one ally card. Uh, I will play what I can. So I'll play the uh, Erebor and Hammersmith after you play Erebor and Hammersmith, return the topmost attachment in, play in any player's discard hand. Don't have any. And uh, that is basically it. We'll go to questing. We can't quest because those are attacking and will defeat us. And uh, then we will. Oh, we should not travel either. So let's see. Uh, We'll get an encounter card in the questing phase and deal one damage to each exhausted character while non get damaged, which is a good thing, but it doesn't save us. Um, we lose by two, so we add two here. And uh, we'll go to travel phase, we are not traveling. Uh, we'll go to encounter phase, uh, no enemies to engage us. But these are already gates. I will defend this against the forest spider and both of these against uh, the orcs. So the forest spider uh, will defeat this ally. These will hit for. So both of our heroes are still barely alive. Uh, Bor doesn't take damage two against two. And Theodred takes one. So that is everything. Oh, yeah, Shadow Cars. This might uh, win us. So uh, we'll take three. So from left to right, nothing. Uh, defending player raises their head threat by the number of enemies with which they are engaged. So three. So we are at 41 threat. Last card is. Uh, Choose and discard one attachment from the defending character. There are no attachments, so those were the shadow cards. So we'll go to the uh, repress phase. We'll uh, ready and add one threat here. So 42, so we're eight <laughs> threat away from losing threat. We probably will just die next round. So, uh, pretty fun game. No. <laughs> uh, way around it, it's going to be a bloodbath next round, but that is that round, let's go to the next round. We gain resources, draw one card, we'll get a card which we can pay, That's and remember we only can pay one ally each round, so that is also a hindrance. So again we are not questing, uh, we get an encounter card. 3, 4, 5 against 0, uh, so we are at 47, nearly lo lost there, and uh, then we go to travel phase, uh, we travel here, we'll just travel, discard 2 cards random from our hand. So, quick shuffle, lose uh, that and that, okay, so Gandalf is gone, but we didn't even have resources for Gandalf, so it doesn't matter. Okay, uh, we'll go to encounter phase, we ha have no enemies to engage with, but those are already engaged. I will defend against the forest spider with this one, and I'll defend with these against these two. So it is a slowly losing battle, and this is uh, we'll get the shadow cards from left to right. We'll start from there, take one damage, and uh, the threat is uh, defeated. So I'll just uh, flip it over like so. Then uh, we don't take any damage from that, but we'll see the first card. Nothing happens, second card, nothing happens, last card. Resolve the when reveal the effect of iron shackles. Uh, attach iron shackles to the top of the first player's deck. 
contest condition attachment with the text that next time a player would draw one or more cards from attached discard iron shackles instead so we don't even get to draw cards okay and uh, this card is defeated and uh, yeah that is that round will go to refresh phase we are going to be over on next turn but we'll have one here just to play it out that is that round let's go to the next round so definitely the last round of the game um, we'll do the uh, resource phase so we don't draw cards this just gets moved and uh, we have two resources uh, basically nothing to play with it I'll just use this so at least we can defend a bit by discarding cards so we can uh, increase our defense by three so there's at least that okay and no questing uh, travel phase we can't travel anywhere oh yeah we get to we have to quest so uh, one, two, three, so we lost before we get to the uh, encounter phase. So, we are at 51 threat, we lose by threat, uh, but that was brutal. Uh, basically, I only can see a way out of this if you don't get too many enemies uh, or high uh, threat locations at the start and just get some treacheries that do something will to you and you can start trying to get uh, this uh, quest resolved so uh, just to spoil what will happen after that because we lost already uh, after this if we get nine uh, progress on this first quest uh, then we go to 2a then we also needed to have one of those attached to our heroes. So then after uh, to be after placing any number of progress tokens on this card, flip the prisoner hero card face up and place one damage token on it. This hero has been rescued and may now be used by its controller. So uh, we need to first defeat this one. Then we need to get one progress token on this one to get the third hero into play and uh, then we might have a chance to continue from there but of course uh, before that we need to get all of the objective cards to advance here then uh, we need to also get 15 threat on this so pretty pretty tough then uh, we get uh, 3a which is uh, with eighth round we get one one and one fight, one defense enemy into play with one hit point which we need to deal with and of course uh, we still can't play more than one ally card in this phase but in this phase we can play normally but we also uh, at 40 I think we get this uh, Nazgul of Dol Uldur into play Oh yeah, it, it shows up at 40, so... But yeah, that is that scenario. Uh, we win... Uh, if we get 7 uh, progress tokens here and... Uh, um, Nazgul of Dol Guldur is not in play, but... I think I might play this like 10 times of camera and still not beat it. So... Uh, I think... This is not suitable for true solo playing, so I might try it uh, with two-handed uh, sometime in the future, but for now, this was the escape from the Ruldur scenario, and as you can see, it didn't go that well, and I think this is not a <laughs> really fun gaming experience if you are planning on playing true solo like I usually am, but still, Hope you guys like this playthrough, thanks for watching and until next time.